Hello everyone, welcome to Nations. This is Alan and Sam. Welcome to another edition of Friday Questions. Today's question comes to us from one of our viewers who asks, should BC Sealer be only used with BC Gutta Percha points or can any regular Gutta Percha be okay to use with the Biceramic Sealer? So it's a good question, let's get to it. Okay, so I started using the Biceramic Sealer now about six to seven years ago. Uh, and I must admit that at the beginning I was using just regular endo sequence gutta percha. I wasn't using the Biceramic coated gutta percha. For those of you who don't know, the endo sequence system comes with a Biceramic Sealer and gutta percha points that are matched with the endo sequence file or now the ESX files. And they're coated with a two micron thick layer of bioceramic particles that allow the gutta percha to bond to the sealer. So at the beginning there wasn't much evidence for me that this was really actually making a difference so I was using regular gutta percha. However over time uh, new evidence has kind of shown up and now kind of considering the real chemistry that was taking place I've moved on several years ago to the use of the BC coated gutta percha points with the sealer for the following reasons. Number one Several studies did show that the use of the biceramic coated gutta percha cone did enhance the bonding strength of the root canal treated tooth. And the reason is very simple, it's kind of, you can understand that, is when you use a gutta percha cone that is not coated with biceramic uh, particles, then you're having a hydrophobic material. Gutta percha is hydrophobic, as we all know. However, our sealers are, the biceramic sealer is hydrophilic. And um, while the sealer, the biceramic sealer does bond to the, um, to the dentinal walls uh, through the hydroxyapatite cross-linkage uh, bonding mechanism, it won't have any bond to the gutta percha cone and you end up having um, uh, no bond there and as a result that could be a potential place for leakage. So uh, the study that was done in Alexandria that showed the difference between using active gutta percha or biceramic coated gutta percha compared to regular gutta percha did demonstrate the difference in the bond strength as a result of this phenomenon. But it goes back to the whole idea of where does leakage take place when you have any kind of a uh, obturation system, whether you're using a hydrophobic sealer such as Kerr, um, uh, AH Plus, or you know, Roth sealer, any of those zinc oxide usual and resin based sealers, or you're having hydrophilic sealers such as the, um, uh, the biceramic uh, uh, sealers. And studies have shown in the past that unlike what we used to think that this leakage occurs